Oh, hey there. Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. So this week I'm going to be filming a what I eat in a week during this quarantine. Since we all have a lot of time in our hands, it's time for us to start cooking, eating better. And um, I'm going to be doing a plant-based edition. So um, just a background, I gave up meat about two years ago, a little over two years ago. And at first I went fully vegan for about eight months, but I realized that it just wasn't sustainable enough for me. So I switched to being a pescatarian. But with that being said, 90% of the meals I cook are vegan, um, but there are times where I'll use a little bit of dairy or a, a little bit of seafood um, in my meals. And then when I eat out sometimes, I'll get seafood. So um, I do consider myself plant-based because I'm not fully vegan, but I do cook a lot of vegan meals most of the time. So stay tuned to see what I cook this whole week. I got a lot of exciting stuff coming up for you guys. So first things first, for Monday morning breakfast, I'm going to be making a smoothie. So I always like to add bananas to my smoothie, so I'm adding that first. And then some spinach to get my greens in. And then I'm going to be adding in some frozen fruit that I found in the freezer. Just literally adding anything random. And then I'm going to be adding my plant-based protein powder that I have. I'm only doing about half a scoop because it can be kind of strong sometimes. And then finishing it off with my Trader Joe's um, almond milk, original flavor, unsweetened. Just a little bit of that and then blending it up. And then I realized that I wanted to add in some strawberries because I didn't have like any berries in it. So I added in two fresh strawberries and blended that up and that's it. I poured it into my glass and that's the final product. Super easy, super simple, and it's really yummy. So for lunch, I'm actually going to be making like a Buddha bowl type of situation. Um, shout out to my friend Jada. If you're watching this, hey girl, she showed me um, this recipe of, they called it like a love bowl, um, but it's basically just a Buddha bowl. So I'm cutting up some mushrooms. I already cut up my sweet potatoes and then I'm cutting up this onion and those are going to be like the base of the bowl. So I'm chopping those up now. So once I have the veggies all chopped up, I heat up some olive oil in a pan so they can saute. Um, but I already have jasmine rice cooking in a pot since it takes a while and I have frozen broccoli cooking separately since it's frozen. So I cook the sweet potatoes for about five to 10 minutes and once you can stick a fork through them, they're soft enough to add the rest of the veggies. So I go ahead and add the other veggies and let those saute and then I go ahead and add my seasonings. So I went ahead and added in black pepper, seasoned salt, onion powder, garlic powder, crushed red pepper, and a little bit of curry powder as my seasonings. And after they were thoroughly cooked, I added in the black beans and the broccoli last since those don't, since the broccoli was already cooked and the black beans don't really need to cook. And then I went ahead and plated it with rice. And in the video she showed me, they used barbecue sauce as a sauce, which I've never used before. So I was like, I might as well try it. So I tried it and it ended up being really good. So shout out to the barbecue sauce. And for a snack later on that day, I ended up just having um, the skinny pop popcorn and I ended up just eating leftovers for dinner. Okay, good morning y'all. It's the next day, it's Tuesday morning and I'm making one of my favorite breakfast meals. And this is something I learned to make when I first went vegan. So I added about three fourths of a banana and I'm adding in about half a cup of oats. And you wanna make sure you save like a little bit of the banana after you do this. And then I'm gonna be adding in cinnamon for the flavor and um, almond milk to finish that off. And I realized in this video that I didn't add enough almond milk like I usually do, but it ended up being fine, but I would probably add a little bit more than I did. So once all the ingredients are added, I blend everything up together and um, I show you guys what it looks like after it's blended. It's really thick, um, but it's fine. Usually it's a little bit thinner, but I go ahead and add butter to the pan. Um, so it doesn't stick and then i use a spoon and basically just get spoonfuls of the batter that i just made and put them in like little pancake shapes and i was struggling a little bit at first because it was so thick it was hard to get it out um but it ended up being okay so 
they only need to cook about three to five minutes on each side so they become a nice golden brown color and the reason you save the banana is that you can use it as a topping so i went ahead and chopped up the rest of the banana i had and some strawberries and i went ahead and poured syrup over it you can use honey or whatever the topping of your choice is but i love syrup and you guys this is so good like this is like my go-to breakfast i love making this it's so quick and easy for my lunch today i'm making a vegan version of like a tuna salad or like a chicken salad um except it's chickpea salad so you want to go ahead and mash up some chickpeas in a bowl and um, i'm using a fork to do this if you have a better tool use that but i'm mashing these up once it's completely mashed you want to go ahead and add in vegan mayonnaise i'm using the hellman's brand this one is so good to me it's better than real mayonnaise because it has like a little tanginess to it so i go ahead and stir that in and then afterwards i'm going to be adding in some relish and then i stir that in and make sure it's all nicely stirred so i added in chopped red onion as my last ingredient just to add some texture and then i ended up adding some vinegar and then my seasonings were seasoned salt black pepper and obey because i use obey when i used to make tuna all the time and it makes it taste so good so i stir that all in and as i'm doing this my bread ends up being done in the toaster so i take the bread out and go ahead and make it into a sandwich well, i found some garlic spicy pickles in the fridge that i never had before so i thought that would be a good topping and then i also added lettuce and then i cut my sandwich diagonally because i can only eat sandwiches if they're cut that way and that's about it it was so yummy so for dinner since it's tuesday i kind of wanted to do a taco tuesday vibe except i made fajitas instead which is really similar so i'm going ahead and chopping up this bell pepper and then I'm also chopping up onion and mushrooms. So for my fajita seasoning, I'm adding in seasoned salt, chili powder, paprika, onion powder, and garlic powder, and black pepper as the seasoning. And on the sides, I have the cilantro lime rice cooking, which is so good. And then I also have black beans and corn with the same seasoning in it. I warmed up my tortilla and then added in my vegetables, my black beans and corn and rice on top. And as a topping, I went ahead and added lettuce and I didn't have any tomatoes, unfortunately, but I did have salsa. So I added that in and that's it. It was so yummy. Here's my dog, Harley. She's eating her breakfast, but good morning, everyone. It's day three. And I was really lazy this morning. I didn't feel like making anything. So I just had a bowl of cereal. Um, I think this is just honey bunches of oats, but I love adding fresh fruit in my cereal. So I cut up some bananas and strawberries and I went ahead and poured in my almond milk. And that's all I have for breakfast this morning. So for lunch, I wanted to keep everything simple. So this is one of my favorite snacks. It's roasted chickpeas. So I added in olive oil, basil, thyme, oregano, creole seasoning, salt, pepper, and garlic as my seasonings. And I go ahead and pop that in the oven on, on about 400. And after about 15 minutes, um, they're ready to go and they're crispy and they're a good snack to just eat. So along with the chickpeas, I made a simple salad with a bed of lettuce, strawberries, red onion, and cucumber. And I don't know if this is weird, but I love putting fruit in my salads. I think it's so good. And see, this is one of the times where I'm like, okay, I need some cheese, some dairy. So I added in some feta cheese, which made it so good. And then my mom makes this good homemade dressing. So I just sprinkled that on top and that was my lunch. So for dinner, I made a shrimp coconut curry. So I have my jasmine rice cooking already, the frozen broccoli cooking already to get those out the way. And I have my frozen shrimp defrosting in a bowl of hot water. I have my red bell pepper, my red onion, my coconut milk, my minced garlic. Um, you're gonna need olive oil, of course. And then these are all the seasonings you're gonna need. So I start off by chopping up my bell pepper and onion. And once those are all chopped up, I go ahead and remove the tails from the shrimp because those can be really annoying. And the shrimp only takes about five to 10 minutes to defrost. And then I go ahead and saute the vegetables and olive oil on the pan. 
and the broccoli and rice is already ready so i added my coconut milk and i forgot to shake it beforehand so as you can see it's really separated but once you stir it it ends up being okay but i realized i wanted more liquid so i went ahead and added in a second can of that and i remembered to shake it that time so for seasonings i'm adding in a lot of curry powder this gives it the curry flavor some salt um, some black pepper I added in ginger, so good, and then cinnamon, and crushed red pepper, and um, I already had a lot of minced garlic in there. And then um, the shrimp goes in last because it takes quick, and there's me tasting the food, dancing out to Solange because it was so good. And here's the finished look. I add in the broccoli at the very end with the shrimp, and you just let it simmer, and it should be ready very soon. So I go ahead and plate it with the rice, and whew, it was so good, y'all. This is my favorite meal this whole week. It was so good. So it's Thursday morning, and for breakfast, I'm going to be making simple oatmeal. So I went ahead and added in the oats with the almond milk, and I popped it in the microwave for a minute and 30 seconds. Once that's finished, I like to slice up banana and strawberry and throw that into the oatmeal. I go ahead and throw in a little bit of agave just for sweetness, and I love agave so much. And then cinnamon, and that's it. And I wanted you guys to say hi to Karishma. Me and her were on FaceTime. She says hey to y'all. So for lunch today, I'm gonna be eating my leftover shrimp coconut curry because it was so good. You guys can tell this is my favorite, and I didn't wanna waste it. So I went ahead and popped that in the microwave. And who else has been learning TikTok dances while in the quarantine? Here's my renegade as I wait for the food to heat up. Let's call this challenge, see how many TikTok dances I can do before the food comes out the microwave. I don't know what that dance is called, but another dance I learned. And here's the savage dance. Yes. Go girl, go girl. Woo! <laughs> So anyways, y'all, the food is finally done and I'm going to be enjoying my second day of this wonderful coconut curry. So today for dinner, I'm going to be making one of my favorite vegan meals, my vegan chili. I love it, especially in the winter. It's getting warm now, but it's still good. So I'm chopping up half of a red onion into small pieces. And then I have my rice already cooking on the stove, so that's already ready. And I'm going to put the onions in this pot that has warm olive oil in it and i'm going to saute these for a few minutes once the onions cook for a little bit i'm going to be adding in these meatless crumbles from gardein my favorite meatless brand and um, once that cooks down a little bit i'm going to be adding in my seasonings black pepper chili powder seasoned salts um a little bit of cayenne pepper because it's really spicy garlic powder onion powder and then about two tablespoons of sugar and then I'm gonna mix that all up before I add in my sauces. So first I'm adding in about a tablespoon of tomato paste and mixing that in. And then afterwards I'm adding in about half a cup of my vegetable broth, stirring that, making sure it's completely stirred. And then after that, I'm gonna be adding in my kidney beans. Make sure you drain them first. You don't want the liquid from the kidney beans in there and then adding in your diced tomatoes that you don't want to drain so i'm adding in about half or a fourth of this container because i usually get the small can but this was really big not adding in all of that and then last but not least the last thing you want to add is the tomato sauce so i'm also adding in about half of that because i usually don't use that size and then when i stirred it all up i realized i forgot to add in my oregano which i love oregano is my favorite so i went ahead and added that in I went ahead and showed you guys how much I had left of each thing and then you want to let this mixture simmer for about 20 minutes and at first I had the lid on so if you want something not to thicken leave the lid on but then I realized after about 15 minutes I didn't like how thin it was so I went ahead and left the lid off for the last five to ten minutes and it got thicker so once it was the perfect consistency I went ahead and plated it over rice and I added jalapenos, those are my favorite, but here you can add your sour cream and your cheese, but I chose not to. 
Well, good morning, everybody. It's Friday. It's the end of the week, and I am so tired of cooking, but I'm here to bring y'all some content. So I decided to go with something savory for the last day since everything else was sweet. So I'm cutting up a potato, and then I'm cutting up about a quarter of an onion. So I'm going to go ahead and add some olive oil to the pan and let that heat up. And then at first, I'm only going to add the potatoes because they take literally forever to cook, and I don't want the onions to burn. So just the potatoes and I go ahead and let that cook with the lid on. Shout out to my brother who's in the back. <laughs> um, and I let that sit for about 10 minutes. So once the potatoes are soft enough that I can easily stick a fork through, I go ahead and add my onions in and mix those together and let those saute. And then I add my seasoning. So seasoned salt, black pepper, you guys know the drill by now, onion powder, garlic powder, and then of course some Creole seasoning at the end and oregano, my favorite. So I stir that all in and I'm gonna put the lid back on and let it sit for about another seven minutes. So once it's finished, I go ahead and plate it and I don't know about y'all, but I need ketchup on my potatoes. So I add ketchup and then some hot sauce, this Nando's hot sauce. I'm literally addicted. I found it in Walmart one day and have used it ever since. For lunch today, I'm gonna to be making an Asian-inspired stir-fry. So I have broccoli cooking separately, and then I have the sauce defrosting. I'm gonna throw the chicken in the pan, and I almost made rice again, but I realized I've been making rice every day, so instead I started boiling some noodles. And I was starving this day for some reason, so I needed a smoothie to go along with it. So I went ahead and added strawberries and banana into this blender with almond milk because strawberry banana is like my favorite flavor. And since the fruit wasn't frozen, I went ahead and added ice and blended that all up. And it was so yummy. I love strawberries and bananas together. So I ended up pouring the smoothie into a glass. And then I added the sauce, the chicken, the broccoli, and some onions and sauteed that all together. Added in the noodles as the last step. And I realized I needed some more sauce. So I went ahead and added some soy sauce to the mixture and then some agave just to sweeten it up a little bit. And all of my seasonings, you guys know the drill crushed red pepper, onion powder, seasoned salt, garlic powder, and black pepper. Those are my go-to seasonings. And this was the end result. It was super easy and quick to make. It was super yummy, and I went ahead and ate it with my smoothie. So this is a plot twist. So instead of making dinner because I was still full from the stir fry I had, I decided to make me and my mom some mojitos. And you know, it's Friday night, we're trying to get lit and I have a FaceTime date tonight with my fellow girls from KCM. We've been missing each other since we can't see each other during the quarantine. And my mom had her own FaceTime date, so I'm making us mojitos. So I'm chopping up the lime right now and there's my mom in the back. And then I washed off the mint and then I was rubbing it through my hands to get the mint flavor to come out. And actually shout out to my friend Edgar. He's the one who taught me how to make these mojitos. And now it's like my favorite drink to make. So I'm adding one lime to each glass and about five or so mint leaves. And I know you're supposed to use like a meddler or whatever to, I guess that's what bars use, but I didn't have that. So I found like a random tool in the kitchen that I could use to mash up this all together, crush it together and get a nice juice going at the bottom. And once that's all done, I went ahead and added two more limes to each glass and adding this mint simple syrup, about two squirts to each glass. And this will give it the nice sweet taste. And then I continue to crush that up some more. So I went ahead and filled up both glasses with ice and then I added in my shot of rum and I ended up not adding enough. Like after my, I finished, my mom tried it and was like, girl, I need like another shot. Um, but if you don't like to taste the liquor, then this is the perfect amount. And then I go ahead, go ahead and add seltzer water to top it off. And I get a spoon so I can mix all of that all together. And then you can add in whatever else you need at the end, some more mint, some more lime, 
and perfect it to the way that you like your drink. So I tried both drinks to make sure they were good and they were. So this brings me to the end of my what I ate in a week. I hope you all enjoyed and I hope you learned something and stay safe during this quarantine. Comment down below what you would like to see next. Thanks y'all.